Today we've got a very special specimen arriving to take its place in the spirit collection. It's called the spirit collection because it contains specimens stored in alcohol. It's an unusual job. I've been doing it now for a, a little over 40 years, but the surprises still come. The museum's been lucky to obtain a Greenland shark stranded in the UK. The sheer practicality of moving that means all hands on deck for us curators, so we've gathered together to shift the specimen to a place where we can preserve it in a more permanent way for the collections. The problem with sharks is because they're spindle shaped, um, it's quite difficult to get to lift them nicely because if you put straps underneath them, they tend to slide out. So dropping the shark would be one thing that could happen. Okay. And I'll come around the back. I can't believe it. It's got two days to thaw and then we'll make an incision, look for parasites, do all the things we want to do before it gets preserved and it'll take its place alongside our other specimens. Because we've got one of the biggest and best collections in the world, people have come from all over the place to, to look at it and to examine the specimens and to extract information yeah, from them. Here. We have one researcher who's been coming in from Bath University who's very interested in, in the shape and structure of fish nostrils. Okay. He's hoping that that might have applications for designing some robotic underwater device that can then detect chemicals, uh, so who knows? Oh, we should have had them closer together. It's gone very well and the shark is now in alcohol. The fluid that is preserved in will now keep it in good condition for hundreds of years. You just can't tell what uses a specimen will have. You just can't tell what information people will be able to get out of the specimen in the future. The spirit collections are stored behind the scenes at the museum, but they feel to us very central to what we do here. This big collection of specimens in alcohol are at the heart of the knowledge that we've built up here and our power to answer people's questions and to extend the knowledge of um, the natural world. Mm -hmm.